Good morning, Facebook friends. So when you look at this, who do you think of? Well, I tell you who I thought of this morning when I looked in the mirror. Mary Ann. You remember Mary Ann from Gilligan's Island? Wow, that goes back a whole lot of years. I mean, I was really young when I watched that. So what impressions do I have? What do I really remember about that character? Well, I remember thinking how innocent and sweet she was. I'd have to go back and watch some episodes to see if that was true or not, but that that sweet childlike innocence is what I think of when I think of Marianne. And it's kind of a fun contrast to a memory. Good morning, Bobby! Oh my goodness! Such an honor to have you here. Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts and who else is there? Alexandru! Oh my goodness! People in already! Um, anyway, Quite a contrast, I, I was laying in bed last night about to go to sleep and I had a very, very distinct memory of a little incident in New Zealand. Thank you. Um, we were sitting uh, on some benches at the geyser in Rotorua, or just outside Rotorua and Waiotapu Thermal Wonderland, waiting for the big geyser to go off and uh, kind of minding our own business, sitting and chatting. More and more people were pouring in. And my eye was caught three, four rows ahead of me. This young gal was coming in with her parents. She was probably like 13, had that miserable look on her face, like, oh, I'm here with my parents and I don't want to be. And she was wearing this black t-shirt that said in big, bold, white letters, Kiss me, I dare you. Oh, oh, everything in my body was just like, was quivering. I was this close, this close to jumping off of my bench, hopping over all of the benches in front of me to get to that row and just run up and plant a big one right on that gal's cheek. What would she have done? What would she have said? What would her parents have said? What would the people around me said? What would my family who is with me say? You know, ultimately, that thinking is what stopped me. And I'm thinking, should I have let that stop me? What other people are thinking? Really? I thought I'd come to a point in my life where that sort of thing didn't get in the way. I'm going to do what I'm called to do. All I could think about was how much fun that would be. And maybe a little mischievous and naughty, you know, far from the sweet, innocent Marianne, the kind of like mischievous little girl. Yet there was no bad intention behind it. It was not to, it was just to take up her dare. I mean, if anybody's going to wear a t-shirt with a big dare on it, you got to be ready for somebody to take it up, right? I thought it, it <laughs> ah, I, I still don't know why I didn't really do it. Because like I said, every fiber of my being was just vibrating. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it says keep going. Um, we get these little messages on Facebook. They can be kind of distracting, although I love seeing that people are here. Anyway, um, I wonder, what do you think? Should I have done it? And then when I didn't actually do it, I thought about it and I thought it was worth having the thought to do it itself because that really brought me to life. I felt so freaking alive in that moment when I thought about being that mischievous, taking her dare, jumping up, giving her that kiss on the cheek just to see what the reaction was. That sense of aliveness that came from that moment was worth it, that alone. So my message to you today is let that inner child out and play, even if it's just to feel the feeling and entertain the thought and not actually take the action. Entertaining the thought of doing something that calls to your heart can make you feel alive and just excited about being in the world. Enthusiasm comes from this sense of listening to the heart. Again, that's what the Shin Dao is all about listening to the heart, living the way of the heart. So, um, and maybe next time I'm actually going to take the action and, and not get held back by what would other people think. 
because life is too short to have regrets and a little part of me sort of regrets not giving that gal a little kiss on the cheek. So be playful, let your inner child play, follow your heart and create a fun, beautiful day. Love you. Namaste.